Hey guys, welcome to the comic channel. I'm the Comic Foil. And I'm the Green Scorpion. And we are uh, finally starting this one that we've been talking about for, for a while. How you doing, man? It's... People have been bugging me to play this game. Yeah, so in case you're coming over from Oscar's channel and you don't know about our stuff too, I did a thing um, about a year ago called Steam Sember, which was a way of like testing a bunch of games uh, and people got to choose which ones I eventually made a Let's Play on. Uh, Dust was one of the winners and a lot of people were also asking Oscar to check out this game, so we figured to just kind of get two birds with one stone and uh, put it together. It makes sense too because a lot of people have been telling me that I would really enjoy this game because I like games like Muramasa and like they've been saying o o Odin Sphere is another game that they say I should play as well but one at a time. I love Metroidvanias and apparently this is a Metroidvania so I'm game for this. And it's got combat kind of like Muramasa I think. Exactly. Yeah. I, I do love that kind of thing. So um yeah let's just hop in. Uh, <coughs> Dustin Elysian Tales supports autosaving. Well, wasn't that nice. Uh, that is my autosave from when I was doing Steve Sember. Uh, we're going to start a brand new one. Okay, so casual, normal, tough, hardcore. Um, definitely not hardcore. Yeah, I think we can just... Uh, I'm thinking normal. Yeah, normal's fine. If this was like a replay, I'd probably want to do it on higher Our difficulty, world but... world has fallen to fade. Right. And can you hear it all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Complete. I'm using new audio plans for this. Long since fallen to dust. <laughs> the greatest no legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance. Oh, it's and playable. The oh, snap. Showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish uh, on this day. Black. Not to the mob, but to a single child. I think a kid murdered me. Interesting. Dust. Dust. Arise. So our name is Dust. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Blade claimed. Oh, hi. Stop. Stop right there. I remember not caring for this character. Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. Um. <laughs> Your name is Fidget? Yeah. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? I mean, your name hey, is Dust, who are you to judge? <laughs> you're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. Um, oh, okay, and these are the options from before, so I'm gonna no say Fidget offense, doesn't look like a guardian. Aren't you a bit, well, <laughs> small? For a guardian, I mean. <laughs> hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay, I love this game's writing already. <laughs> what is this sword, so, anyway? What is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yeah, no pressure. Well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! 
<laughs> Alright, first boss, well, Fidget. Uh, I... Alright, alright, you win. <laughs> don't think I'm leaving empty handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. I am now very curious as to who voices these characters. Because um, the voice acting in this game, I can already tell, it's pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to check between episodes. So this this was an indie game, you know, it wasn't made with a huge budget. Oh but... yeah, no, I I, I, oh. I I am a little aware of that. So you found a treasure key. Okay. There's a little bunny. And we got... Oh, I love these. Okay, the, the... so those are animals, but we're animals. We got kind of like a Goofy and Pluto sort, sort of well, situation here. Well, I don't know. Um... We don't exactly know what dust is. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't, but I think this is like I mean, an this 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 could be kind of world. Yeah, but this could also be like a Kitsune fox scenario. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm a Kitsune. That, that's a thought. Those are super cute bunnies, though. I I have to say though, like, um, I I got a question on Tumblr once asking me what kind of like art style I like in video games. This is one of my favorite art styles, is 2D sprites, but hand-drawn. Yeah. Like, I love this type of animation. Like Skullgirls. Yeah, Skullgirls. Like, Cuphead. I, I knew Dust had this art style, and I'm, I, that's not actually part of the reason I was looking forward to this Let's Play. It's because I love looking hmm. at this. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Okay. Ah. Fidget will alert you when treasure is nearby. Press R to access the map. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is very Metroidvania. Yeah, this, this is a nice Metroidvania kind of map. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Can I jump down? Nope. No, I think you need something to get through that. Yeah, so we're going to get, like, more skills as we go, I guess. Ooh. Uh, I think we just found one. New ability acquired. The dash. Okay. Um, oh, well right. on your trigger. way. Oh, oh okay. Trigger. So it's a dodge roll and whatnot. Yeah. And cool. Maybe it can also be used to. So, so, like, all of your skills are either going to be like combat skills or getting around skills, and I think some of them can be both. Okay, so you can go down there. You just yeah, it just didn't want me to go down there without getting the dash. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. Wall chicken. Oh, it's actually called wall chicken too. <laughs> I was making a joke, but it is called wall chicken. Correction. We found a locked chest. I found a key before well, though. What are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. And just sitting around in the I open. Suppose we'll need a key then. Well, I guess. I guess that's. It's a weak expl. Hello, what? Oh, it's like a mini game. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um. Okay, we, we're gonna need something to go down there. We need the morph ball. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically going to be this game's morph ball. Yeah. Have you ever played Axiom Verge? I have not played Axiom Verge. Um, it's a Metroidvania lot like, oh, hey guys. Um, that's like very much based on the original Metroid, but uh -huh. like all of its Metroid-like abilities have kind of like a neat twist to them. So instead of a morph ball, it's a drone that you send. So like the morph ball is like a separate character. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. I haven't learned anything. <laughs> Fidget understands how I'm going to play this game. I think the Sword of Aura is how Oscar is going to play the game, and Fidget is how how I'm going to play the game. Whoa. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the Blade of Aura, and with it... All the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? <laughs> Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps 
Finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Um, so it told us before that pressing a left bumper yeah. uh, lets us use healing items. Right. Like, right now you have the right. mysterious wall chicken. Yeah. Um, oh, save monument. Okay. And, okay, so I, I... Based on the teleport thing, I'm assuming this is also our fast travel mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, the map says that there's a way down from over there. If now, you want to check it out, but... Uh, now I'll just keep going this way. Alright, then. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's do what the game tells us. From whence it... Ah, okay, I get it. Send them back from whence it came. Okay, so XXXX ends in a knockback. You gotta crouch, uh... You got... Yeah, you gotta crouch you attack. Got, you gotta low forward. You got an aerial attack. Um, I hear that the combat does actually get pretty deep. I'm actually looking forward to that. So, Ashbound. XXYY. Oh, I didn't even realize that I had another attack. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a heavy. Sh it's like a heavy attack. Yeah, but it's so also yeah, like you... a dash forward and an uppercut. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah. Just from gameplay videos, I know that Rising Phoenix. Okay. And okay, that's, that's awesome. And you set can... up for an air combo. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, the fallen down and wide for a downward strike. Okay. So what you can probably do is uh, use the Rising Phoenix and then uh, do a do a one two into that. See, this is the kind of stuff that I'm going to be utilizing. Neat. Yeah, oh so we'll man, I'm looking I'm looking forward to playing this already. We'll do the same sort of thing that we usually do, where I'll play odd number episodes and Oscar will play even number episodes. Uh huh. Bear witness to the dust storm. Dust storm. Oh snap! It's the sword of the storm. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. So you gotta hold it. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Gotcha. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack <laughs> so Also known as B. That it will produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Oh, I gotta know what the. Uh, that was uh, very pretty. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful. Excuse attack. me? Observe. So. Like, ten minutes in, and we already got, like... Oh, my! Ten minutes in, it's already, like, giving us weird, wow. awesome combos with our three oh main buttons. Oh, my! <laughs> you can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken. And you will lose your bonus experience. Okay. All right. I think I understand. So we got like beat him up. If this is all here. too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Okay. Oof. Um. Got it. Okay. Um. Dust storm. Oh, I gotta press B first. Okay, yep, so you there gotta you shoot go. the projectiles first and then activate the dust uh -huh. storm. Oh, that's sick. Okay, let me eat some wall chicken. Okay. And where's the energy meter? That's the one above uh, my health I believe bar. That's the, yeah, I believe that's the one below the health bar. Okay. Oh no, it's the top one. Yeah. Uh, and okay, the one so below is my the, like, the, experience the, the, the top, Yeah, the top glowing one is your experience. The uh, the uh, yellow one, or green one, whatever, is um, is your health. And the bottom one is your experience. And I guess you're going to want to use That's these things. That's insane! Because they, it, it looks like they have a lot of 201 health. 201 hit combo! And I got an achievement for it. That is insanely awesome! 
Okay, I'm looking forward to this already. Goodness. So far, this seems like sol okay. Un the undoing. X X X Y. X X X Y. I don't know if I'm doing it or not. Yeah, I think you are. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna have fun learning all these different combos. Yeah, it it seems like a solid. Um, this is a very very nice um, combo system. Yeah, this is a solid foundation for the game, and and we and we learn this like. Not even like 10 to 15 minutes into the game. Yeah, like, I like that. I I, pre this... I prefer tutorials not to take control away from you, but this was very fast in teaching us this. Yeah. Okay, oh, that is gotta, so sick. You gotta watch your back when you're doing that. Though. Um, try utilizing your dodge roll a little more yeah. so you can avoid those uh, surprise attacks. I can already tell I'm going to be terrible at this, and you're going to be great at it. And that's okay. Just watch out for those odd number episodes, people. The, 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 that that's just like that, that just depends on like, or that just like um, goes into the kind of players we are. Like this is the kind of combat. This is the kind of like gameplay system that I love. Um, I revel in this. Wait, I want to read these notes. Oh, I've been picking up. So treasure. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there's enough time to free them all. In other words, find key, unlock chest. They chased and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up to me at my headless, at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go, I climbed out to the hat to the hand and made a leap of faith. In other words, look out for a headless statue and just jump down. Yep. Nope. Alright. Okay. There you go. Because the because the dust storm will mostly affect the people in front of you, but it won't do anything to the people behind you. So, you need that dodge roll. You need to watch your back. Great even. As it should, Dust, you've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen. Oh god, more. Upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. <laughs> Dude, we've been playing for 15 minutes. Like from here you can no, assign I... skill gems. Um, note that the highest stat must be within four gems of your lowest stat, so you can't min max one stat. Got you. Okay. Um Um, so you can upgrade your health, attack, and defense, and you can level up fidget even. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Um for the first gem, I'm gonna say let's do health because a hundred more. We're, we're more than doubling our health doing this. That's actually a good idea. Um, I think you can actually remove the skill gem. Oh wait, confirm upgrades. Okay. Ah, there you go. No, yeah, now it's locked in there. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, this game's art style is fantastic. Yeah, and I, li I like the effects. You got like wind, you got rain. Yeah, and not none of it is interfering with the uh, with the primary visuals. Like I can still clearly see what's going on with dust with the enemies. Yeah, it's very clear. Mm-hmm. Thought I was gonna be overwhelmed with how many uh, enemies were on screen, but if you know where to look, it's pretty easy to understand. Okay. Ah, oh. there you go. Oh, I like hooked him downward. I think that's... Okay. okay, if you hit... that That's me hitting heavy attack on them while I'm in the air. I'm, like, actually uh -huh, hooking uh -huh. them and bringing them down with me. All right, sweet. Okay, you can make your, you can make your way down uh, that log, I believe. Okay. That's crazy. Oh, I just sent them to space. <laughs> Aha. All right, so okay, we, we don't have, have a, we don't have a chest, that. but maybe we can... Ah, there you go. The, the wind is super strong here. Look, it, it's like got Fidget. Where's Fidget? <laughs> Fidget's doing her best. Okay, so you can make your way back up from there. Which is good, because that replaces the wall chicken I ate earlier. Mm-hmm. This would have been a good guy to know about for a uh, top ten aeromancers. Go back down. Oh, right. The chest yeah, the is down chest. too. I forgot. Okay. Um... I like that it also shows the button on, like, the side of the controller that yeah, it's on, Yeah, that's too, cool. Because I always forget where the buttons on an Xbox controller are. 
Because A is on no, the bottom, no. and on a Switch controller, I, I or any looking, Nintendo controller, B is on the bottom. I was looking at a, I was looking at an image yesterday that no one seems to agree what the button layout is like uh, when it comes to uh, how, where buttons should be on controllers. Yeah, it, it all depends on what you grew up with, I guess. Okay, so if I don't hit anybody in long enough, I think the hit chain get No, as long as I don't get hit. Yeah, as long- And I need to keep hitting people too, otherwise my hit chain goes away. Yeah, but once the hit chain goes away without you taking any damage, you will bank that experience. Yeah. But it, it, it's sort of that min- it, It's sort of that risk-reward uh, playstyle. Do you want to end your combo by not hitting anyone so you can bank that experience, or do you want to keep it going yeah. and get more? Energy is depleted, so we need to do more- Melee combos, Melee combos yeah, okay. to get the energy back up. I don't know if the game explains it. Okay, there's a chest nearby. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? <laughs> I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. It's not like Fidget has pockets. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this Fidget. Well, you should be. Taking my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Okay, so it seems that at the beginning we were, like, fighting in some kind of village. We were fighting a lot of people, mm -hmm. and we got defeated, maybe even killed, and then woke up without any memories. That's, uh, what we're getting so far. Yeah. So maybe... Immediately I start trying to think, like, okay, what could the twist be? Could the twist be that we were the bad guy before? Could it be... Yeah, that, you're, that you're always one clone? to try and, like... Uh, zero in on like what plots entail after like you yeah. get some details. I'm always trying to like solve the plot. Yeah, which is not a bad thing. Mind yeah, you. sometimes it can hinder my enjoyment of something, but sometimes it pays off and it's really fun. Okay, I'm through this wall here. Yay, keys! Oh, two, two yeah, of them. Two not keys. bad. So as long as we keep finding keys, we can keep getting treasures. Yeah. I am loving this combat system. Oh. Aww. Yep. I, I kind of am button mashing. I'm trying to, like, do certain things, but <laughs> I get a little bit ahead of myself. I, right. when, one thing I can say already that I also really like about this game, I'm noticing, the enemies have health bars. Yeah. That's always nice. So that, like, you don't waste your best thing on somebody who's almost dead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, so you bank that experience. Oops. That had a little bit longer reach than I was expecting. Okay, and there's, like, it's a very small difference between pressing Y and holding Y. Uh-huh. Because holding Y starts the dust storm, but just tapping it during a combo can do things like that. Nice. And that's our second level up. We got a skill gem, so we can use that. Yeah, so after I kill you. New ability, aerial dust storm. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And the drill that will pierce the heavens. Oh, gosh. Um, how do I go to the... There, there you go. go. Okay. Um, thinking let's put in attack. Yeah. Cool. Not even going to bother with a fancy combo for you. Uh, what are you sending me these singles for? I think we're getting to a certain point here. I don't want to mingle with the singles. I want to take out more giant groups of people. These guys got some reach. Yeah. 
Yeah, you gotta give yourself a... You gotta dodge before I'm thinking you need to dodge. That's crazy cool. Oh, and he and he finally landed over there. You could just like launch somebody into the air and take them out of the fight for a little while. Yeah. All right. So there's another key. There's another chest in here, maybe. Yeah. I'm like hitting walls to see if any of them are like fake or something. Yeah, that's a classic Metroidvania trope there. Uh, B Y. Oh. Okay. Well, at least that doesn't like take away my key when I mess it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a way of, like, making it a little bit more engrossing. Reinforced powerful alloy. You're gonna need something explosive. We need the super missiles. Oh, this guy. Tent? Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. <laughs> just... Surprise at the uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. Oh God! Can I just say I love the party dynamic here? <laughs> I've been expecting yeah, you, this is a, stranger. Yeah, this is quite a trio. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? All okay, right. so he's got. Uh, let's see, healing, more healing. Much more healing, healing, and also cures poison. Interesting. Um, this is the health items category. He has a bunch of categories up there. Oh, okay. Yep, there you go. Um, one would be hard pressed to call this thing jewelry. <laughs> it's a filthy pendant. Warped pendant. Uh, once a fine keepsake, time has distorted this pendant. And a simple pendant, a gift from a young man to his lover. All right. Well, this one has the best stats, and I think we can afford it. So yeah. I kind of just want to buy this. Well, let's but... see. Well, let's see what others we got. Augments. Uh, sharpening your blade with this works as well as you might imagine. Oh, an eggshell. Uh, sandpaper. This at and a dull white stone. Okay, so I think these are like X attacks, like they're like temporary. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But like attacks. the stats that they give you, that that the stats that it gives you is actually pretty significant. Um, a leaf vest. Uh, yada yada, bark shirt, and a cotton vest. Okay. Okay, armor's always good. Oh, wait. It says that we already have one of these in stock. Oh, okay. It might be what you're wearing already. Yeah. Okay, and we already so have... So we have the warped pendant Warped currently. pendant equipped. All right. So simple pendant would be arguably better. Yeah. Um, Dull ring. Uh, simple ring worth a, worth a bit of gold. Yada yada. Okay, we got teleport stones. Use it from a save monument to the All world right. map. Oh, and you can buy uh, keys and revival stones. Okay. Um, fall in a second chance. That's worth 8,000, though. Yeah, so we're not going to want to be dying all the time. Yeah, materials. Um, Lumber, nails, fabric. Okay, so this game has a crafting This must too. be a whole thing, too. Yeah. yeah, let's wait on this and see what we can get out of that uh, later. Before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am... Not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Interesting. Ah, you'll buy them at a high price. I so fidget plays yes. Resident Evil. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Watch your back, my friend. Let's face it, this guy totally has Resi, Resi 4 Merchant uh, yeah. vibes. Um, did you want to buy that pendant? Uh, sure. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. <laughs> we, ju we were just here. <laughs> the Guardian of Metal welcomes you again. <laughs> uh, simple pendant. 
Yeah, and we can go at, uh, switch to cell mode? Your transaction oh. is most appreciated. Thank you. Um, well, let's go ahead and equip this. No, I'll go to a cell mode. There you go. Oh, wait. No, we're gonna need to, like, equip it first. I was gonna say. Um... Okay, my inventory. From this screen, you can manage equipment and items. If your health is low, indicated by the green bar and HUD, you can assign a healing item to the quick item slot. Okay. So, the warped pendant. Oh, we didn't actually have either of them equipped yet. Oh, wow. So now this is equipped. Well, there you go. Um. Oh, oh cool. So we got a couple of blueprints for a lightstone vest. Yeah. And a light, uh, what is it? And a, a light, light chain, chain mail. mail. So now, we have the cotton vest for now. Okay. Wow, this is very D&D. &D. And you can have two rings equipped. That's cool. Okay. Um, I guess let's sell back. Um... Uh, go to your pendants. Yeah, yeah there you we'll go. Sell back the warped pendant. Um, because the simple pendant is what we have equipped. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's it there. Oh, we have a, a revival stone in case we die. Oh, good. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. I'm curious to know what race he is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was, for some reason, I was thinking like a dragon. Hmm. Like, I don't know, the dragon snout kind of... I don't know, like... It reminded the, the, the me way, of, like... The way his face is shaped, I was thinking maybe something along the lines of a minotaur. Ooh, maybe. A bomb fruit. Dust storm to pluck... Oh, wow. And it, it, it like, propellers. Okay. Um, um, wait, try, uh... Oh, it... Okay. So it kind of, um, Dust Storm can be used like a vacuum. Okay. Try using your aerial one. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, take it to that wall. Oh, yeah, there was a wall all, all the way over there. I forgot about it. Bingo! Nice. Got some wall chicken. And we got a key. Okay. We have lots of keys now. We need more treasure chests. But okay, we played with the shopkeeper. We started getting an idea of the combo system. I don't want to hog this combo system too much. Ah, there you go. So I am going to turn it over to you for next episode. I'm the Comic Foil. I am the Green Scorpion. And I'm um, looking forward to playing this. Yeah, th th this will be a lot of fun. So th this looks like a very fun game. And if we ever needed a uh, another, if we ever needed another candidate for if we eventually redo sword wi sword wielders. Oh yeah, that's true. I actually find it curious that he holds his uh, sword backhanded. Yeah, that, that's because he's edgy. Can't even be bothered to hold it front ways. But that's a story for another day. Yeah, we don't even know how good he is at swords yet. I bet he's going to get a lot better. Alrighty then. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Alright, I'm the Common Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And we'll see you next time. Finally, I'm getting to this game.